What you think, what you think about When you're born into a fire Let them burn, let them burn it out Sell them to the richest buyer They want to let the world decay They tell us lies and fade away, fade away We feel betrayed We were raised to lose the race Wake it to the back of the path, we kill it anyway Listen up, listen up now We're never dropping now Beat the hours, beat the big house The brains are bigger than the doubt We've been thinking for ourselves Never let the truth fade away This is bigger than ourselves We won't let the world burn Hello guys and welcome back to this Formula 1 season. That's right, uh, we are into the final third of the season. We're here at Italy, Monza. Um, now, I will put a disclaimer on this. We are on the modern circuit of Monza. The one with the double chicane at the beginning of the lap is not available. But still, that's, that's okay. That's fine. We can make do. So, um, yeah, here we are then. We've made it. Uh, Pacific still functioning. Although finances becoming very tight. Uh, and likewise at the uh, Simtech team as well. They've had to take out yet another loan from Supremo Bernie Eccleston. Uh, to make it through to yet another race. Sorry, just having a drink. Um, so will we see um, Simtech disappear off the grid before the end of the season? Well, that remains to be seen. But uh, it, let's, let's just say it's not looking too rosy for the Simtech team. So anyway, um, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll make it to the end of this season. Um, then we can press onwards. It's the uh, session is about to get underway, and uh, yeah, we're gonna gonna 
No, we're not going to head out on track with that much fuel. Oh my god. The session is underway. It's going to be definitely going to be a two stop race. Okay, here we go then. Clear. Not so sure about the gear in, but we can always take a look at that when we get back to the pits. Yeah, okay, so the gearing needs to change. Got the real trimmed out setting uh, of the car again. Real low downforce. Doing enough to get into sick gear. Okay, so yeah, gearing we need to look at. Not even, not even a doubt about it. Gearing we definitely need to look at. to Ascari. Okay, really poor lap, poor, poor, poor. Okay, let's get out there again, go for another lap. Blue 
flag. Watch your right. Clear. We're being shown a blue flag. On your right. All clear. We're being shown the blue flag. Blue flag. Park car approaching. Got to hook this up. Good lap. Good lap. Left side. All clear. Couple of simple changes to the setup. Much better lap. Right, so let's have a look then. Oh, wow, Benetton's leading the way. Wow, really close though between Hill and Herbert. Bit of a massive gap though from Williams back to the rest of the kit, the, the grid. Better than one, two. 
Yes, it is. Okay, so the session comes to a close, and uh, let's have a little review of that. So the grid then adds follows Michael Schumacher from Johnny Herbert and all Benetton front row. Damon Hill third, Gerhard Berger fourth. Um Ferrari's home Grand Prix. Jean Alesi fifth. David Coulthard drops down to sixth. And we've got Mark Blundell, Rubens Barrichello with Mika Hakkinen and Jean Christophe Bouillon. Just inside the top ten. Good showing from Mika Salo in the Tyrrell. P eleven for him. Martin Brundle twelfth. Eddie Irvine thirteenth. Panis fourteenth. Fredson, 15th with Katayama. Uh, Taki Inoue, 17th. Luca Padoa, 18th. And then a good showing from us in the Pacific there, P19, with Pierluigi Martini alongside. Then we've got Pedro Diniz in the first of the 40s with Schiattarella in the Simtech. Morbidelli, 23rd, really down in the dumps there for footwork. And Roberto Marino uh, for 40, 24th. Bertrand Gasho for the other Pacific 25th and Jos Verstappen rounding out the back of the grid. So let's that up. Okay. Cool. Uh, so here we are then. Bonza. Oh, yeah. So, away then for the formation lap. Not many more of these left this season. And uh, Monza is always a special place to come to when it comes to Formula One. So it will be interesting to see how this one unfolds as uh, this race goes on. P19, a decent, decent qualifying showing. Um, obviously. We have a habit of getting all caught up in all kinds of shenanigans on the uh, opening lap. So, fingers crossed we won't get too involved in all of that. We had a, a good start at Spa, which allowed us some uh, nice clear running. Obviously, um, you know, natural pace saw us fall further back, but uh, yeah, a, a decent P14 finish head of the tail enders that were running uh, in that race. So, very much driving for our future in Formula One as well at the moment. So, you know, we've had some freak results early on in the season. those results count for anything to secure us a seat next season at the moment no contract is signed this is about the time of year when all of those sort of guys start to be announced Coming onto the uh, grid then for this Italian Grand Prix. We'll be taking our slot very shortly. Yeah, 
Here we are then in our box on the grid. Last of us lining up. Ready for the lights. Here they are then. One light, two lights, three lights, four, five. And away we go. And it's a decent launch off the grid this time around for ourselves. Gonna try and stick it around the outside of the footwork then. In. And wow, again another position then. A little bit of bumping and shuffling there. I saw a couple of cars bouncing around ahead as we all start to filter through the opening sector of this track at Monza. Looks like we're slotting in just behind one of the Tyrrells. I think that's Katayama. And someone is off. Whoa! And an almighty accident there as he's lost control coming back on. We've managed to dodge that. And who is that? Was that Fredson? No, I think that's Bouillon. Footwork coming back at us now. And the footwork gets out onto the marbles and onto the Astro. We did squeeze him, but we're well within our rights to do that. We're defending our position. P16 then at the end of lap one. getting dropped by the guys in front now. Atiyama. We've got Inoue behind us. See, I'm not too worried about the footwork. So I, I know what their reliability is like this season. You know, to me, like, obviously... They're a threat on initial pace to begin with in the races, but uh, largely they always seem to fall by the wayside um, further into this race we go. For Ascari. Heading down now to the legendary Parabolica. And start finish straight. Seeing some battling going on in front. Anyway, and Morbidelli behind are fighting for position still. As the two Tyrrell boys get side by side now. All dust and everything being kicked up ahead. Doing what we can. Hey, insulin, I see you there. It's one of the Ligier boys who's been shuffled out. 
That's Panis. That Mugen Honda is much more powerful than ours, as you can see already. Um, not going to put up much of a defence against this one. Through he goes. let Panis go back at the Tyrrell boys. Hopefully we can profit on that. That four of 24. Starting to do, or just doing our best really to maintain pace. The fact I can still see the guys in front is a miracle. footwork boys are still fighting behind me if they worked as a team they might actually get somewhere but uh, oh, it looks like Morbidelli's finally made it past uh, Inoue It looks like Paul Bidelli already closing on me. Paul Bidelli is closing on me. Still pressing on. Looks like the Ligier is going to get the move done here. And indeed he does. We are driving the life out of this Pacific to be in this position at the moment. Morbidelli right with us. Bouillon's coming back through as well.
Come on now, come on. Push it, push it. Oh, Bullion's past Morbidelli. And he's going to be right with us into turn one. Parked it on the apex, as I've been titled to do. Oh, Bullion's off. Morbidelli chucked it up the inside of Bullion. We're entitled to defend this position. On your left. Clear left. Right side. Oh, he's done the over and under. Bold move, a bold move there into turn one, and we got the place back. All this over P16, I mean, come on. But we are trying to secure ourselves a drive for next season, so we have got to show that we can do this. Both of the Simtex are out. It seems that they are. Seems they're going to really be struggling for parts to make it through this.
flat. Careful as you reach on the right. Clear. Car left. On your left. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Oh, and he's punted me. Thanks, Bouillon. All that hard work undone. Brilliant. Thanks, Bouillon. I've lost out to both footworks now and the Minardi. Brilliant. <sighs> Brilliant. Bouillon deserves a penalty for that. That's ridiculous. How could he get away with that? too hard now. Need to chill out, calm it down, go again.
that the race leader behind me? I think it is. And that's Schumacher. Bag. Gonna get lapped. Be on me soon. Blue flag, fast car approaching. Yeah, I know. Clear right. What happened with Martini? Why is he last? Absolutely decimating our team, mate. Fifteen to twenty four. Decent showing from us again in relative to our nearest competitors. Running as high as P16 early on, that's a decent first stint. Shame about getting punted by Mr. Bouillon. Next of the leaders coming up behind there, I can see him. Just tuck into his slipstream there, use that.
God, we've increased a massive gap over the uh, the forties behind. And there's one of the footworks. Which one's that? Oh, it's tacky. Try to stay with him. I think that was the other footwork. I think that's Morbidelli gone. Yeah, it is. Okay, pit in this lap. Pitting this lap. Box, 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 box.
fuel going in. 10 seconds worth. So we're running... Oh, we're back in P16. Ah, that's because Eddie Irvine and Martin Brundle have retired. Okay, alright. Is Luca Badoa up ahead? Miles ahead of our nearest uh, and dearest. Kello's out. Well, okay, there's wheel there's a wheel off there, I'm not sure who that is. Oh no, the two the two the two Tyrrells have gone into each other. Oh, is that a McLaren blowing up? There's white smoke. McLaren is smoking. Or is it the Minardi? I don't know. I'm sure it's the McLaren. Yeah, it's the McLaren.
Well, it's been another strong showing from us in the Pacific. P13, there it is. Good result. Really good result. Caution. And it uh, looks like the McLaren is uh, it's a stop stop for the McLaren. Stop stop. Strong result for us. Okay, so let's take a look then at the race order. Wow, Damon Hill comes home for the race victory at Im uh, Imola, uh, at Monza. He's followed home by Johnny Herbert in the Benetton. Gerhard Berger getting on the podium, much to the delight of the Tifosi. Michael Schumacher, who led the majority of this race, ends up in P4, David Coulthard not far behind him in P5 and John Alacy picks up the last point uh, meaning that the top six positions are occupied by the same three teams um, let's go across to the points standings so let's do that let's do that first so Damon Hill at last takes another victory Johnny Herbert, six points. Jean Lacy gets a point. Schumacher. Burger. Oh. Ponza, Italy. Go through the standings in just a moment. Okay, so let's have a look at the championship standings. What does that mean? Uh, it closes things up again a little bit, I guess. So, Michael Schumacher uh, still with a healthy lead. How many races is that now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, Schumacher has finished in the points in the last 8 occasions. So, yeah, consistency really Bedding in um, for Schumacher. And it's the same for Johnny Herbert in second place now with 53 points. So Schumacher 65 points. Johnny Herbert 53. Uh, Damon Hill at last bounces back with his first win since Monte Carlo back in round five. And that uh, brings him back onto 49 points and in the hunt again. David Coulthard is fourth on 30 points. Jean Lacy fifth on 23 points. Uh, ourselves. In sixth still with 20 points. Mika Hakkinen, 60 points for him. Gerhard Berger up onto 12 points now. 
So let's just go across to the team standings then. So Benetton, 118 points to the good so far uh, after round 12. Williams, 79 points. Ferrari, 36. McLaren, 24. Pacific, 20. Ligier, 14. Sauber, 12. Jordan, 7. Tyrrell, 3. Ligier are on 14 points, but they haven't actually scored any points since round four, Catalonia. They started the season off really strong and are then faded. And it's the same for Salva as well. Salva's last point was at Monaco, and then since then they've not been in a point since. Uh, Tyrrell as well, one off for them as well. Okay. So the Italian Grand Prix is done. Next is Portugal, which I don't have Estoril. Um, I can't seem to find Estoril or Automobilista. So BRB, and we're gonna. Uh, what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do is sim uh, that in a s random simulator. Okay. So here we go. For the sim results. Michael Schumacher first. Damon Hill second. Johnny Herbert third. John Alacy, fourth. Gerhard Berger, fifth. And in sixth place is. Bump, load, load. And it is Eddie Irvine. So. Helps if I spell Esther real right there. Everybody wants to do. So fourteen points. Benetton. Six points for Williams. Five points for Ferrari. One point for Jordan. Okay, so where are we going now? Oh, we're going to the European Grand Prix. Oh my god. <laughs> How if I... What? No. 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 Ooh. Right, bear with, 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 bear with. Bear with, bear with. Bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with.
Uh, right, just got download. I have, I've actually just realised I haven't downloaded the Nurburgring. How could I have not downloaded this track? This track. <laughs> Two layouts. Oh no, it's not going to have what I wanted to have. There's no... I haven't got any of that, have I? <laughs> right, okay. Bear with. Still downloading, baby. Need to download faster. Oh, yeah. Almost there. Almost there. It is almost there. Do, do, do. It is almost there. Automobilista. Ultimate track pack. I still don't understand how you can't have best real. Right, well, let's bookmark that ultimate track pack. Right, this one is there. It is done. It is a lever D. Right, where's my MS folder? There you are. Got that. The locations folder you go. It's worth looking. Right, I think I'm going to need to restart the game. Indeed we are. Right, restart. Okay. 
Uh, looks like we're going to have to do... Yeah, we're going to have to use that one. Right, uh, anyway, back to that. So... Seven... Twenty-eight lap race. Welcome back. Okay, so here we are then. We're at the Nürburgring. So let's see how we go here. We're doing actually a decent job of it so far in the last few races. So what is it, 28 lap race? Yeah, 28 lap race. down the pit lane for our first time out on track here. Of course, we're going to have to use... Unfortunately, use the uh, modern version of the track because the old one doesn't exist anymore. Whoa, whoa, that's huge. Yellow flag. <sighs> okay, I'm going to need more, more rear wing.
No way am I that fast to get out of his way. going so well. Right, back to the pits, into the tea cart. Yep, into the tea cart. Go, go, go. Fuck take. Okay, here we go then.
Good lap. A really good lap in the end. Oh, looks like uh, Gasho's engine's blowing. Okay, let's uh, put fuel in the tank. Okay, so So David Coulthard on the pole, Michael Schumacher second, Johnny Herbert third, Alacy fourth, Berger fifth, Hill sixth, Hackenden seventh, Bouillon eighth, Blundell ninth, Barrichello tenth, Irvine eleventh, Brundell twelfth, Panis thirteenth, Brentson fourteenth, Katiyama fifteenth, Salo sixteenth, ourselves a stunning seventeenth place, uh, Jos Verstappen eighteenth, Pierre Luigi Martini nineteenth, Badoa twentieth, Deniz twenty first, Moreno twenty second, Morbidelli, 23rd. Taki Inoue, 24th. Domenico Schiattarella, 25th. And Bertrand Gacho in 26th. Wow. Topsy turvy or what? Right. Here we are then. The Nurburgring. outside for the we're going outside for turn one I really expect the footworks to have a bit more race pace in them. Don't expect them to be so far down. Staring at the back of a Tyrrell yet again.
bang on line with the yellow line. Wait for the lights then. Here they are. Relatively decent start. Just catching that at grass on the outside. Whoa. Oh, the Simtech having a little nibble at the Tyrrell there. That's impressive. It's all carnage in front. It's well, not carnage, but it's busy, busy in front. Oh, right round the outside of the Simtech. That's more Bedelli in front. One of the Tyrrells and Minardi's having a good little scrap there.
brave against the Minardi there. Wow, what a move. What a nice little battle that was. With Martini, my F1 hero. Chasing Catty Armour at the moment, this is quite impressive. That was a unexpected lunge there. I did not mean to do that, actually, if I'm being completely honest. Just went too deep. Two one for the fastest lap there, Johnny Herbert.
Well, dipping the, dipping the fastest laps into the 141s now. Well, we're trying our best, but it uh, doesn't seem like we've quite got the pace to catch the guys in front, despite the initial stint. Definitely got the pace over the guys behind us. And we're keeping these guys in sight, so they're not particularly getting away from us. even faster lap. Johnny Herbert is on it. Just pumping in fastest lap after fastest lap.
Uh, Fredson. That is Fredson, isn't it? Wow, we're a lot closer. Not sure what's wrong with the Williams there. P fifteen then. Wow, we're latching right onto the back end of this midfield now. So smoke out of a car in front. Closing on Frenson. Wow, when have we ever been on the pace of the Salvers? Had a better exit there. They've got the better Ford engine than what we've got. They've also got a vastly better chassis as well. 
Oh, there's a lot of DNFs back there. Both Simtex, both Footworks. Oh, and our teammate. Can't overtake here then. Oh, it's a Jordan. Damn it. Had to be a car retired when we had the run. B14. Oh, we are faster than him through that sector back there. Faster up to here, the top of the hill as well. We tried it. We got our nose in there, but not enough traction on the exit. Oh, this is an enjoyable battle. Real game of cat and mouse. Some sectors he's much quicker than us. Other sectors, we're quicker than him. Damn it. It's got a little bit sloppy on the exit of the hairpin.
God, this is a real... See, I think we're definitely faster. But how much faster, I don't know. I think if we get in front, we're not going to necessarily pull away. Down the inside of Fredson. So Martin Brundle next. It's actually quite enjoyable, finally, having a race in the midfield. Closer. Getting closer. It's hacking them. Oh dear.
to the pit road. We're being shown the blue flag. Right, we should be set now then to the end. Oh, Damon's stuffed up on the pit entry. What's he doing? Great defensive drive in there from Brundle. So much more confidence through there than these guys.
Seems like Coulthard's had a bit of a, an issue back there as well. P7. We are closing on Sarlo. Not sure we've got enough time left to catch Sarlo. Although I can see him now. 5.2 is the gap.
Last lap. Got him down to 4.6. Yeah, we're not going to close enough. Damn, what a valiant effort. Oh, oh, wait. No, there's someone out. Who is it? Is it Irvine? It is Irvine. We got a point. Well, we're set for a point. Wow, to actually have been on the pace of the midfield this race, and now, I know because of retirements, but we're going to snag a point. That is amazing. Yes! 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 Get in there! P6 and a point. Woo! Wow. Get in. Get in there. Get in. Come on. Great racing, mine. Great racing. Well done. Well done. Oh. Back to the pits. Oh my god, what a race. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic display. Wow, wow, wow. Let's do the points. Oh, my God. Oh. Wow. Driver standing, Zed. So, Michael Schumacher takes home another win. Johnny Herbert, six points for him. It's a 1-2 again. Mark Blundell, at last. He's back. He's on the podium. Olivier Panis. Where's Panis? There he is. Three points for you, good sir. Mika Salo, two points for you. And where are we? There we are. And a point for ourselves. <sighs> wow. My God. Right, so Benetton get a massive haul. Uh, McLaren gets four points. GA get three, Tyrrell get two, and Pacific get one. Wow. Gods were looking down upon us there to gift us that. So then, let's take a look at the driver's standings. In the driver's standings then, Michael Schumacher extends his lead even further. And he's now on to 85 points. How many wins is that? One, two, three, four, five. That's his sixth win of the season. Uh, Johnny Herbert, another podium for him. Finishing just behind Schumacher there. Um, and 63 Points for Johnny Herbert now in second place in the driver standings. Damon Hill, another non-score, and he drops further back. 55 points he's on. 
teammate David Coulthard as well, a non-score, 30 points for him. Jean Alesi, 26 points uh, there. And then ourselves picking up another point, our first point since Imola. So we've had a long drought, but we've had some amazing races in recent times. And um, yeah, for the first time actually being on the back end of the midfield and mixing it with them, um, yeah, the car just came to us. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. The, the car was absolutely fantastic. Just kept on coming and coming and coming. Um, as we look further down then, so Olivier Panis moves on to 12 points. Uh, Mark Blundell also moves on to 12 points. Um, both of those guys picking up their first points in quite some time. Uh, Panis, his first points since Catalonia, round four. Uh, so 10 races ago. Uh, Mark Blundell... Um, his first points in five races. Um, he last picked up a point back at Hockenheim. Uh, as we look across, Mika Salo then picks up um, another two points. Um, he was last in the points back in Monte Carlo. And Mika Salo then picks up fifth place and two points here um, today. And uh, yeah, moves himself back up ahead of the likes of Martin Brundle, Rubens Barrichello and... Um, and Jean-Christophe Bouillon. So uh, good showing there from the Finn. Um, as we go across then to the team standings. Let me run you through the order. So Benetton another maximum point score there. Um, and increasing their lead by 16 points uh, as well. Because Williams and Ferrari non-scored here. Uh, so Benetton on 148 points. To Williams in second in 80, on 85. Obviously Benetton are the constructors champions um uh, i don't think there's no mathematical way now for anybody to overcome them so benetton securing the constructors title here in 1995 williams yeah a way off um 85 points for them but uh they've also got a really nice cushion over ferrari in third ferrari have moved on to 41 points um mclaren 28 pacific 21 Ligier, 17 points for them. They close on Pacific. Uh, Salva, 12 points for those guys. Uh, uh, Jordan, 8. Tyrrell, move on to 5 points. Um, and then, obviously, the non-scorers we have in the likes of Minardi, Simtek, 40, and Footwork uh, in that order. Um, footwork uh, yet to actually get a car to the finish line this season. Um, it's been an awful, awful season for them with the heart engines. Um, and rumour has it that they will be shot of the heart engines at the end of this season. Uh, but more on that towards the end of the season. Obviously, driver moves still ongoing. Um, there's a few teams now announcing drivers the, the closer we get to the end of this season. Um, so it's going to be an interesting one to see who goes where and who remains in the sport and who says goodbye um but uh yeah this this still got a little way to go so uh the next race is going to be a flyaway race we are going to tiada in uh japan uh this is going to be for round 15 of the 1995 season um and that means it'll be the third last race of this season so it's all going on and uh yeah it'll be interesting to see just how um everything comes together so let's uh have a look then so we've got a maximum of 30 points left uh for the standings what does that mean well let's have a look it means that should michael schumacher win the next race should he win in aida japan for the pacific grand prix he will be your new world champion this year um, so it'll be interesting to see whether Herbert can keep his title, like outside title hopes, alive. Uh, ideally, now Herbert needs um, needs Schumacher to not score any points for the remainder of this season. Now, I just don't see that happening. He is in exceptional form at the moment in time. Uh, out of the fourteen races, he's had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 podiums um six of which have been victories so yeah he's on a real strong run of form um seems to have the upper hand on herbert at the moment but uh you know it, it is what it is 
Um, so Ada then is going to be the next stop for the Formula One calendar. Let's um, go over to the loading screen for the track. And uh, yeah, we'll get uh, one of those put in place. So let's go for that. Be right back. It is a pit stop down straight. So just bear with us. Okay, so... Okayama, here it is. There it is, Okiyama is loading, uh, and while that does so, I'm going to nip for a quick boo break, and I will be back uh, to get out on track in this qualifying session. Okay. Good timing, look at that. Session's only just started. Okay. Alright, so. Looks like there's a fair few guys going out on track. There's no way that field calculation is accurate. Okay, so we've been shown the blue flag. Clear. We've been shown the blue flag. Fast the car approaching. Blue flag. Fast car 
approaching. We're being shown a blue flag. All clear. Nice and easy now. Okay. Do quite like hockey armor. It's quite a nice as well. TIA though. Good, good lap. Well, I, I think it needs a little bit more front end, personally. Okay.
Okay, let's uh, go to the next session then. Uh, okay, well, we'll take a look at uh, this grid. Up 29. So, Michael Schumacher then takes pole position in what could be the title-defining race. David Coulthard and Damon Hill have slotted themselves in between Schumacher and his main title rival, which is his own teammate, in the form of Johnny Herbert. Gerhard Berger is fifth and Jean Alesi sixth. Um, so the Ferraris up there again. Uh, just outside again, uh, Jean-Christophe Bouillon, the king of P7, qualifies. You guessed it. Seven. Mick Hacken and Mark Blundell for McLaren 8 for 9th. Olivier Panis into the top 10 again for Ligier. And just outside of the top 10, then we've got the two Jordans in Rubens Barrichello and Eddie Irvine. Mick Salo, 13th for Tyrrell and Heitzhard Frentzen, 14th for Sauber. Uh, Martin Brundle there, P15 for him uh, in the second Ligier. And he will line up alongside uh, ourselves after the Titanic battle we had last race out. Gianni Morbidelli, P17 for footwork, and Ukio Katayama in uh, what is essentially, uh, I guess, the, the first of his home races in P18. Luca Badoa, 19th. Taki Inoue, again, much like Katayama, down there in 20th. Uh, Pierre Luigi Martini, 21st. Jos Verstappen, 22nd. Uh, Pedro Diniz, 23rd. Domenico Sciatarella, 24th. Uh, Roberto Moreno, um, 25th. And Bertrand Gasho, rounding out the grid here at the Pacific Grand Prix at TI Ada. So that is your grid lineup. Um, without further ado, I think the fuel is in the car. Let's go down to the lineup on the grid. So, quite a packed uh, race this time around, despite being out in the middle of the Japanese countryside. Uh, there is enough crowd here. Uh, to fill all of the grandstands. Okay, so then, as we get ready, then. So, there is Mr. Brundle. Okay, so. Third last race of the season, still. Nothing decided for our fate. It's going to be an interesting one to see um, how this is going to play out. So, what does Formula One have in store for us? Well, we're doing all we can. We've put in some scintillating performances in qualifying in recent races. We've really come on strong in the races as well. Um, I don't know what much. I don't know if there's much more I can really do. Um, the fact that we were mixing it last time with the midfield um, proves that when we've got a car that's underneath us, we can battle for those points paying positions. Yes, we've had a couple of wins this season as well, but I know they're lucky. But you know, it should still count for something that I, I, you know, that I can look after the car and get it to the flag. So let's see, let's see what we can do. When the season started out and we were so far off the pace, I was really, you know. Just thinking, oh my god, you know, we, we, we are literally doomed. But, uh, you know, actually, the season's gone on. We've got used to this year's car, which, of course, you know, vastly different to last year's. Hold the brakes. Yeah, it's a slight downhill, so we're going to have to hold the brakes on the, on the grid. So here we go then for the Grand Prix start. 
Five red lights. And it's green and it's go. Uh, it's a slightly bogged down start. Looking for any way to sort of sneak up there, but oh, the concertina effect. There's a Jordan getting out of shape up ahead. Throw it up the inside as we do so. Okay, so we're on the tail end of the midfield again. Engine's very hot. Being punted by the footwork. Punted again by the footwork. Keeps on punting us. Not impressed with this behaviour.
Not sure what's happened behind there. I think. Oh dear. Come on. Okay, well, we've dropped off the back of the midfield now, so... Doesn't look like we're going to be challenging that today. Tacky Inoue in the footwork behind me. behind us still. <coughs> New way gets closer. Uh, races have been good. Uh, we actually managed to, we're in, essentially, we're in the shittest car on the grid, still. Uh, we managed to pick up a point last race. Um, and we're, as you can see, we're P16 out of 26, so I mean, we're, 
we're putting this car way above where it should be. But yeah, we've been racing well. Oh, he's coming at me now. Oh, Tacky, please, no. It's Tacky Inoue behind. The F1 legend himself. Uh, the, the man that got run over by the safety car twice in his Formula 1 career. Yes, you, you heard that right. He got run over by the safety car twice. We're in a Pacific... Well, it's 1995, so it's technically the Pacific Team Lotus. But it, it's Pacific Grand Prix, basically. They were only in F1. They were only in F1 in the real world for 1994 and 1995. They only lasted two years. Oh yeah, yeah. Their their first season in the real world is so their first season in 1994 in the real world. They uh, they they never actually finished a single race. And season two wasn't much better, but a couple of eighth places. So yeah, we're, we're, we're doing the best with what we've got, yeah, essentially. I mean, the fact that we're actually, you know, ahead of some of the other shit teams, yeah, they, they went bankrupt. Move across to defend the inside. Watch your left. Clear. No, Inoue, you are not allowed. I forbid it. Oh! No! Shit, gone too deep. Oh, car is a handful. Uh, interesting. I'm really, yeah, enjoying it a lot more than the last few seasons. But that's because it's a, you know, there's closer battles through the field. Oh, you're really going to make us go side by side through here? Clear. Fair play to you, son. Fair play. It's alright, his car will blow up soon anyway. But yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying 2021 so far. The... the the Verstappen-Hamilton battle this year is going to be amazing. I said he's going to blow up soon, and he started smoking. <laughs> How did I guess that? Um, I... Mm, I still... Do you know, I still think Hamilton's going to do it. I still think Hamilton will do it. But I think if he does do it, that'll be the last time. Yeah, mark my words, if Hamilton wins the championship this season, it will be his last 
World Championship title. Oh, come on anyway, what are you doing? But, uh... What I'm excited about is, you know, with... With the regulation rule change uh, happening at the end of the year. Is, I think, Verstappen is going to be the dominant force for the new era. Uh, um, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure Verstappen... Uh, will he will he reach the heights of Hamilton Schumacher? Mm, I don't know. It depends if Red Bull actually get, pull their finger out their ass and actually you know give a solid car um, to him. But they need to get their strategies back on point. But yeah, I think I think this year I think it'll be Hamilton's last world championship. That's what I reckon. I reckon it'll be the, the, the final. The final one, the final swan song of his dominant era. And then nothing. Um and to be honest, I think he'll probably retire as well. If if he wins one more world championship. I'm pretty sure that Hamilton will retire. You reckon for stepping in a Merc? Well, I mean, he's got to be to some degree frustrated with the lack of uh, Red Bull providing him with a title winning car. Like, obviously, this season looks to be a much better car. But yeah. It'll be good to see him. Actually have the, the car to, to win a championship. Because, I mean, let's be honest, Bottas is not is never going to do it in the Mercedes. God, imagine a Verstappen and George Russell Mercedes lineup. Oh, I would literally cream my pants for that. Imagine that Hamilton retires, Bottas gets the boot. And then they promote George Russell and hire Max Verstappen. Who's that in front? Is that Frenson? Or is that Bouillon? Oh, it's Bouillon. Yeah, me and that guy in front, Bouillon, we do not get along. Oh, pretty much. I mean, I, I, would, I would... Yeah. If, if I was a team manager, that's the lineup I would want.
I hate that pit entry, that's awful. We have damage? It's when. Anyway, it doesn't affect anything. No, I don't think it's far out. I think you're right. I think we could be set for a very, very exciting future. What I'm not happy about... Uh, F1's made the announcements that they are... Planning to go to... Full electric... Um, at some point. And four-wheel drive so power to all four wheels which I, I hope isn't the case because I think four-wheel drive doesn't yeah no oh Blundell and Salo are out Ooh, that was a bit of a gargly downshift wasn't it I mean, they can afford Russell, yes, but in terms of Verstappen, I mean, he's going to need... They're going to have to pay Red Bull a hell of a lot of money to get him released. Because I, I... Yeah, I don't know. Come on, baby, light my fire. I'm all on my own in P14. Uh, well, this is the question. Because Red Bull like to keep him sort of tied into a contract, don't they? So... I saw Helmut Marco was um, not happy with Perez. Saying that Perez hasn't been racing good enough. I mean, Perez did have a shit race, but he had a good qualifying. But that doesn't help when you're like the boss, so to speak, and you're slagging off your drivers. That, that never helps the driver. In a, Not in a million years does that ever help the driver get better. I love all the pops and crackles of the exhaust on this car.
Got my Minardi hero behind me, Pierluigi Martini. Oh, we've got yellow flags ahead. Who is that? Is that... Oh, it's Barrichello. Barrichello's out. It looks like his engine's blowing. Just need to keep the car on the island. Just keep it going. The reason why I'm not going to maximum revs is because I'm just keeping the engine temps down. Just to keep us in this. So we've already got a lot of Barrichello still dropping down the order. There's a few guys way behind us. Oh, our teammate's still in the race though. He's still tootling round. new personal best lap yeah clauses in the contract will be a massive thing um, so like Hamilton gets to have a certain say on who his teammate is and I'm sure Verstappen will want to have something similar it's quite a nice track I like I like this track Oh, good idea. Got very wide there. Not good. My teammates still win the race. P18 at the moment. We've got a yellow flag. Oh, and as I say that, my teammate's out. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Yeah, teammate's out the race. Fan fucking tastic. Well, that is the question. That is the question. Who would?
Mm, that's a good question. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know who they would actually. load of dust kicked up there. Well, Lando would be cool. He kind of fits the the general sort of kind of Red Bull driver, doesn't he, Lando? You know, likes to have fun, but also pretty handy. But then, will McLaren want to lose Lando? I think, uh, oh god, imagine that. That would be amazing. Callum Eilert up there as well. Yeah, because he's a, he's a bloody good racer as well, Callum Eilert. I think we'll see him in an Alfa Romeo. Um, or maybe, uh, you know, Kimi retires. Mick Schumacher moves from Haas to Alfa Romeo. And Callum Eilert comes in, takes the seat at Haas. Because I'm still not convinced by Antonio Giovinazzi. I'm still not convinced that he is F1 material. Uh, Eilert, yeah, he's an F2 driver. Wow, we are all on our own at the moment. Who's that in front? What other good F2 drivers are there? Uh... I mean, I'm surprised someone like Nick DeVries hasn't come into F1 yet. Yeah, I'm getting out of the way. I'm getting out of the way. Go.
Go on, out the way, out the way. Blue flag, blue flag. De Vries, well, he's De Vries is currently racing for Mercedes in Formula E, um, alongside Stoffel Van Dorn. But he won like F2 and the like. He used to be a McLaren Academy driver, Nick De Vries. So uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, Jack Aitken is another that I think is good. Um, obviously, he had an awful debut race for Williams. But he was thrown in at the deep end, so... Obviously, we had the young Fittipaldi drive for Haas in a couple of races last year. That was a bit of smoke ahead. Yep, I'm letting him through. Where is he? Did he just... Did he just crash? Oh no, there he is. Come on, Ferrari, come on, Ferrari, come on, Ferrari, come on, Ferrari. Whoa, 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 the Ferrari's gone off. Uh, I've not really looked at the current Formula 3 drivers. Um, I do need to have a little look at the uh, up-and-coming lads and girls. 
Um, it is a shame that um, Jamie Chadwick hasn't, you know, picked up much of a drive. This will be our final lap then. Well, there's bits of car everywhere down here. What the hell is that about? Well, we're in the top ten. There it is, P9. Oh, someone else retired, did they? No! No, Hakkinen had to pit for fuel. So we managed to save enough fuel to get to the end. Yes. P9. Go on. P9 in the worst car on the grid. Yep, we're a lap down, but it's still a P9. Wow, we are really stringing together some strong races at the uh, last half of this track. Uh, track season. There's a Lacey. There he is. There's a Lacey. Cross the line. Okay, so Michael, wow, Michael Schumacher's won the race, and guess what, people? He is the world champion of 1995. So, let's go to... Let's go to the point standings and update that. Yeah, yeah, Michael Schumacher has absolutely dominated Another win for Shumi. Damon Hill picking up second place. Uh, David Coulthard third. Johnny Herbert in P4 gets three points. Jean-Christophe Boulion picks up two points. And Jean Alessi a solitary point. So this is the B.I. Aida Pacific GP. that. Let's update the team points. Benetton taking home 13. Williams taking home 10 points. Sauber taking home 2. Where's Sauber? Sauber, Sauber, Sauber. Sauber 2. Ferrari 1. T.I. Ada. Pacific G. Uh, right, so let's take a look then and see what that means. Uh, da, 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 da. So the Drivers Championship. Uh, so Michael Schumacher is the world champion of this season. So Michael Schumacher is the 1995 Formula One world champion. Uh, 95 points for him. He's taken yet another win. Johnny Herbert. Is still second in the Drivers' Championship with 66 points. Damon Hill, though, in third with 61. So that battle for second place in the Drivers' standings is going to rage on until the end of the season. 
David Coulthard on 34 points moves up into fourth place in the driver's standings. Jean Alesi fifth in the driver's standings with 27 points. And then ourselves with 21 points still. Big Hakkinen 16, Gerhard Berger 14, Mark Blundell 12, Olivier Panis 12, Eitzhard Frentzen with 8 points. Uh, Jean-Christophe Bouillon moves on to six points with his two points there. Mika Sale, five points. Martin Brundle, five points. Rubens Barrichello, five points. And Eddie Irvine, three. Which means then for the team standings, it is as follows. So Benetton, having already won the team standings, increase their lead to 161 points. Um, uh, with Williams on 95 Ferrari then 42 points, McLaren 28, Pacific 21, Ligier 17, P uh, Sauber 14, Jordan 8, Tyrrell 5, and then Minardi, Simtech 40, and Footwork. No points for them. So let's have a little look at the uh, the race. Well, there's a lot of DNFs. But, uh, uh, Bertrand, you were doing so well. And then, oh, suspension failure. Yeah, we probably need better suspension designed for this car. So... Uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that. So, anyway, um, oh, Roberto Marino actually finished in the 40. He actually finished ahead of the Tyrrell. My God. Ugh. Olivier Panis and the Ligier ran out of fuel. Shame for him. But, uh, yeah, good, really good racing from Michael. So, let's have a look at the next race on the calendar. Oh, and we're, we're driving just down the road. We are going to Suzuka. Um, which is the next race on the Formula 1 calendar. Uh, so let me put you on the pit stop screen whilst we load up that track and we'll get racing. You can probably still hear me. Oh, salt through your boys. Right, okay, so let's... Uh... Yeah, Verstappen leave Red Bull soon. I, I think so. If he doesn't... Well, I, do you know what? If if he doesn't win the title this season, I'll be very surprised if he stays much longer. Um, That's what I think anyway. Oh, it's called something else, isn't it, on this? Oh, uh, fucking hell. Kansai. Is it Kansai? Anti classic? I don't know. When was this track built? Well, put in nineteen sixty two. I don't know what track it is. Let me just load them up and see. Kantai Okay, Suzuka. Bob, taking a little while to. Oh yeah, this is the one. Perfect. Okay, cool. Alrighty then. How do you think Mick has done in F1 so far? Do you know? I think he's adapted well. Um. You know, it's not gone without his mistakes. Like, you know, he's he's made mistakes and that happens. That's part of, you know, being a rookie in Formula One. Um, but com when you compare him to his teammate, which is the person you compare him to, he's done massively better. Uh, Mazepin is not, I repeat, not cut out for Formula One. Um, and I'll be very surprised if he, you know, ends up score ever scoring any points in F1. Yeah, 
but yeah, Mick, I think, yeah. Okay, let's wind that one down, that one down. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I fucked up, I fucked up. Uh, I didn't set the race distance properly. Right, get rid of that. 53 divided by 3 equals that one. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go to... Fuck. Almost completely fucked that up. Uh, how do I feel about Aston Martin? I, I think it's a shame. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a shame that they're struggling. Um... Yeah, they should be doing much better, but hey, what can you do? Can't, um, you know, force shit to be good if it's not good. So, you know, their car is, their car's suffered massively um, with, with the rule change. So, yeah, it is a shame. I'll tell you what, though, I mean. Stroll isn't good enough. To, I mean, you say that, but then he's absolutely destroying Sebastian Vettel at the moment. So, out of the two drivers, the one there that's not good enough is Sebastian Vettel. He needs to. He needs to go. I think controversial opinion, but his time in Formula One is done. He needs to leave. He needs to retire now before he completely destroys his legacy. Vettel, Vettel, Vettel. What are we going to do with Vettel, eh? I feel like I just hear someone absolutely trash their car. Uh, okay. Someone has indeed trashed their car. What is that? Like, for fuck's sake. It's just a, someone's front wing laying on the floor. <laughs> All clear. Go, go, go. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. Because this car usually struggles with these sort of sweepers. Yeah, he should have. He should have retired a, a while ago now. Whoa, steady now. Tell you what, though, 
what still surprises me is Ferrari signing Carlos Sainz. That just sort of seemed so obscure. God, I I, ch I braked for the wrong chicane. Yeah, there's a lot of drivers in Formula One at the moment that just should not have ever got there. Shortcut. <laughs> okay, right. Well, let's go back. I don't know about Raikkonen. Raikkonen's still pulling out decent results in a shit car. Um, I think this year will probably be his last anyway, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, Kvyat got dropped. Yeah, 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 yeah Kvyat's gone. Uh... Yeah, the, 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 the thing with, with like, Vettel has been, like, a sudden drop-off in performance. Like, he's just completely fallen apart. I don't know what his issue is, but he just suddenly fell off a cliff. Whereas Raikkonen's still consistent, and I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand how you can have, you know, Vettel, a four-time world champion, just suddenly drop off the cliff. It's very weird. Yeah, so Kvyat... Well, I don't know what Kvyat's doing this year, actually. Um, what is he doing this year? I think he might be... The, I don't know. He might be a backup driver for one of them. I'm not sure. Isn't he... Isn't he Alpine's backup driver? I'm sure he's... Yeah, I'm sure he's Alpine's backup driver. Oh, shit. Go. Uh, I, don't, I just don't know. I, I think I think he's been in a, you know, I, I don't want to slate Ferrari because they are, you know, one of the most historic teams in Formula One. But they are a toxic team to work for. And I think that that's pretty clear. And I think that hasn't helped him. Because kind of at, at Red Bull, he was kind of, you know, at Red Bull, he was kind of wrapped up in cotton wool and he was allowed to have fun. And Whereas he then goes to Ferrari, which is the complete opposite. Ferrari is ultra professional. You know, they don't do all the PR stunts that Red Bull do. Um, and I think it's been a bit of a, a, bit, a, bit of a culture shock for him. Um, and, I, and I think in part as well, you know, partly it's Ferrari's fault because... They're basically still clinging on to the history of Michael Schumacher and thinking, oh, you know, we're bringing in a, a multiple world champion German. Oh, we did that with Schumacher. Oh, let's 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 rely on him to make the team great again. And it's like, well, uh, you know, I yeah, I I feel sorry for Vettel. I do because uh, what? I don't know where to break for this this chicane. The right, let's get a time on the board anyway, and we can improve from there.
Well, I mean, how l I didn't actually see what length contract. I didn't see how long a contract he signed with Aston Martin, to be honest. Feeling. Did he what? Did he sign a two-year deal? A one-year deal. Oh well, in that case. To the line. What the hell? No way. Have we seriously just gone fifth? What? Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. How the fuck? We're still two seconds off the pace and we can go faster. Fucking hell. In the worst car on the grid, we're currently up there. Oh my god. Well, if it's only a one year deal, I think the best thing for Vettel to do is help Aston Martin out technically this year. So, in a, in a kind of a, a design and improvement phase. Um, and then step down. Step down at the end of the season. How the fuck have we just gone up there? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so John Lacey's still fastest at the moment. accelerate this we're gonna drop down the order that's fine I can I can handle that what is going on with Williams oh Damon what are you doing Damon come on What has happened to my teammate? My teammate's not even going to do a lap. What are you doing? Oh dear. Whoa, P11 on the grid in the end. Nice. Very, very nice. Yes. Okay, so let's do that. Do that. Right. Next session. Okay. So we're starting right in the middle of it. Ugh. This is going to be horrible off the grid. Ah, oh, Schumacher pole position again. What a surprise. David Coulthard, Johnny Herbert, Gerhard Berger, Jean Alessi, Jean Christophe Bouillon. Uh, it seems really weird not seeing Damon up there. Damon's down here. P25. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Don't know what he's doing. Damon, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, oh dear. Right, let's... Let's go and suffer. Yeah, I can't wait for that. With the rule change as well. I, uh, yeah, literally cannot wait. Yeah, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of names will go, definitely. Right, formation lap it is. Yeah, I mean, in fairness though, you know, this, this time was always going to come. There was always going to come a period where a lot of drivers come to the end of their careers and then, you know, bow out. And the next generation, it's over to them, you know. It's going to seem weird because these, the, these are the drivers that I've grown up with. But uh, I think how and it depends what happens this year. Vettel, mm, probably. Yeah, Vettel will probably go. Kimi, I think he'll probably step down. He'll go back to doing something like rally cars or maybe even like Le Mans or something. Um, do I see Giovinazzi staying in F1 long? No, not really. So I think he's, he's a candidate to potentially go. Um... Who else have we got? Uh, Bottas. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he'll stay anywhere else. I think he could find himself turfed out of Formula 1 as a whole. Who else have we got down the order? Uh... Well, I think they've got some handy drivers that are capable of replacing. I mean, they could they could draft in Mick Schumacher for one, um, Callum Eilert for the other, and then they've also got a wealth of other Ferrari Academy drivers in the lower formulas uh, to go into the Haas seat. So, because I don't see... Um, What I see happening, what I do see happening is that, uh, do you know, I've got a feeling that Haas is going to be sold to Mazepin's dad. That's what I reckon is going to happen this year. Controversial opinion. I think Gene Haas is going to sell the team to Mazepin's dad. That's what I think is going to happen. Uh, he's under a Ferrari contract, so... On, go that side. There we go. Uh, I think he can. Yeah, I think F Ferrari pulled the strings for that. Ferrari will probably just give Haas like cheaper engines or something for a year, just so they can have him early. I don't think this is going to go well. This start. I've got a horrible feeling about this. Still waiting? Here we go then. Here we are, slow off the start. Oh, there's contact in front. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Oh my god, it's hacking. Look at the speed of hacking it. Oh my god. Oh, I've had to get out of the throttle for fuck's sake.
Damn it, shit exit. Oh, that's gonna leave us vulnerable. Gonna go defensive into turn one. Uh... That is a great line in there. How the hell have I held that? We're going to have tyre wear issues with that front left throughout this race. It's already deteriorating. Oh, the two Jordans are slowing everyone up here. I can see Alpha just letting both drivers go. Yeah, uh, you can't see Alpha letting. Some, well, Kimmy will probably go. Giovinazzi might cling on by the skin of his teeth for another year, but then is Giovinazzi a team leader? Oh, God. Yeah, back out of that. Jesus Christ. I think they do Geo and Isla. Hang on. Ah, turn. Yeah, that could work. Did not like how they were all over me there. Got a bent front left. I'm not sure that's going to be able to be fixed in the pits. Thirty-five seconds worth of damage. Oh shit! Well, that's a lot of suspension damage. <coughs> oh, it's all right. We can come back. We can battle. We can battle back. Damn, we were in a good position as well. Oh, it's annoying. Okay, good. 
car is still bad, but yeah, it's 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 going. It's good. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, all right. Car feels mm, okay. Right, let's try and catch up with our teammate then. That is our goal now. Catch the catch our teammate and overtake him. We're a lot faster than him, so we can do it. Turn, 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 turn. Come on, let's go. this track so much. Yeah, well, he's going to have to get closer than that for me to let him through. What? Go! How am I faster than you through that corner? Not in a straight line. Wow. Is that Coulthard leading? It is, wow. I've already taken five seconds out of my teammate. We are so much faster than him. Where is he? I can't even see him. Get out the road, get out the road, get out the road, get out the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know there's a faster car approaching. Ugh, flat spots. Well, he wasn't hanging around, was he? Just pushed through. Okay, these blue flags are going to be a problem.
Oh, I can feel the flat spots. How were they so quick through that last chicane? Oh, for fuck's sake. Go, 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 go. Break. Now, flick it into deck though one. Two of my favourite corners in F1 history. Car is running exceptionally hot here. My engine's gone. No. Blue flag. Watch out. Yellow flag. Roll it over here to the escape road. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, it looks like my teammate's out as well. Yep. Oh. Fuck's sake, what happened to him then? I want to have a look. Let's have a look and see what happens to Bertrand. So he's battling with the 40, battling with the 40. And then. Battling, battling, battling. Well, both of us are out. Oh, what a shit race for the, for the Pacific team. So through they go. It's got to be. It's, it's got to happen somewhere around here. So is he going to get on the curb? Yeah. So he uses the curb. And the, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a suspension failure. Oh wow. Well, at least I didn't have a massive crash like that, eh? There's us pulling over. So at the same time, on different parts of the track, we've we've retired. Both of us. Sean Lacey retires. Engine failure for him. Oh, what a shame. Gerhard Berger's out. Brake failure. Domenico Schiattarella is out as well with suspension. Oh my god. Oh, another brake failure. Jos Verstappen. Oh my god. What is going on?
Don't want to jinx it, but Taki Inoue is still in the race for footwork. Ah, uh, no, he's not. He's gone. <laughs> oh, dear. So, footwork haven't finished a single race this year. Not a single one of their drivers has finished a race. That Badoa's out for Minardi. Engine failure for him. Yeah, footwork have got some serious reliability issues. People will be splashing and dashing for their final stops. Oh, Barrichello's out and he was in a points paying position. Engine failure. Is Damon? Oh, no, Damon's pitted. Okay. Back in the glory days of F1 when reliability was, yeah, not a major thing. Oh, Pedro Diniz is out. Well, as the cars come across the finishing line. Oh, Eddie Irvine has a gearbox failure on the last lap. Okay. Wow. So, Schumacher. Oh, for God's sake, Schumacher, another win. Someone tell that man to chill. Right, well, let's go to the driver's standings then. Let's add these scores. So, Michael Schumacher, another 10 points. Damon Hill, 6. David Coulthard, 4. Johnny Herbert, 3. Mika Hakkinen, 2. Jean-Christophe Bouillon, another point for him. God. Zuka, Japan. Benetton take home 13 points. Williams take home 10. McLaren, 2 points to Macca. 1 point to Le Salbert. Right. Got Japan. Right, let's save that. Let's have a look at the team standings. Uh, so Schumacher then. Another win. Takes his points total to 105 points. Johnny Herbert is still second on 69 points. Damon Hill is third on 67 points. So going into the final race, there is two points between Johnny Herbert and Damon Hill. David Coulthard, 38. Jean Alesi, 27. Ocells, 21. Hakkinen, 18. Berger, 14. Blundell, 12. Panis, 12. Frentzen, 8. Bouillon, 7. Uh, and then we've got the other lads. We've got uh, Salo 5, Brundle 5, Barrichello 5, Irvine 3. So, what does that mean for the teams now then? Oh, okay. So, yep. <laughs> Absolute domination. So, Benetton, 174 points. Williams, 105. Ferrari, 42. McLaren, 30. Pacific 21, Ligier 17, Sauber 15, Jordan 8, Tyrrell 5, and then the others 0. So, hang on a minute. When was the last time? Okay, so, so Damon won Monza. Wow, how many wins have Benetton had this season? Hang on, hang on, hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. So Benetton have won 11 out of the 16 races this season. Schumacher's won 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them. Herbert's won 1, 2, 3 of them. So, yeah. Schumacher. Schumacher's won four races in a row now. This is disgusting form. Well, world champion anyway, Schumacher. So let's have a look at what the next race is. What is the next race? Oh no. It's Adelaide.
Okay, so... Let me put you on the BRB screen, the pit stop screen. Let's, uh... Okay, it is the season finale. It is Adelaide. Uh, no, last season this didn't go very well, this track. Uh, I retired from this race pretty early on. Adelaide, Adelaide. Right, what version of Adelaide were they using in 95? They were still using the bigger version of the track, were they? Okay. Alright. Bigger version of the track it is. Uh, right, so how many laps? Wow, in real life they did 81 laps. Oh my good god. Uh, okay, we're going to do... We'll do 32 laps. Yeah, uh, true. True, I can't because it is Schumacher. Ugh. Well, here we are then. The last race of 1995. Let's uh, let's see how this goes. I'm not expecting miracles here. Right. Okay. Yeah. Reload. Take that down to five. Detach the rear. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be a two-stop race for definite. Okay, well, let's go out with what we've got and see how this feels. Very bumpy old street course, this. I'll let this Jordan go. Bumpy on the exit there, wow. Well, this car feels better than last year's car around here. Oh, I've got deep. No, turn, turn, turn. <laughs>
Come on. Oh my god, look how hot my engine is. Oh dear. Drive for the line. Oh, we're way off the pace. Damn it. Well, I thought I'd try launching it across the curbs there, but uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're slow. We are very slow. But then again, though. We were carrying a lot of fuel because I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, right. I I think we're at risk of our uh, engine blowing up here. Personally, um, I don't think the the Australian. This is what summertime in Australia. Yeah, this is Australia's summertime. That is got to be one of the worst pit exits for Formula 1 ever. It's just no filter. Well, come on then. You're nowhere near me. Yeah, we're going to be in trouble for the engine in the race. <sighs> but Adelaide, I've got to say, is one of my most favourite street tracks. Qualify. Oh no, we got the spare car. Back to the pits, let's get the spare car. <laughs> well, okay, spare car. Let's use the spare car. Jesus. All clear. Go, go, go. Yeah, do you know what f it makes it funny is that, you know, this game is, you know, it's quite old. Well, I say quite old, but it's getting on. But it still has better crash damage than Codemasters F1 games. Street tracks bite hard when you crash on them, though. So... Let's see where we can put ourselves anyway.
Much better lap. Still think there's more time out there, possibly. See, back in the day, F1 had spare cars. Um, so, you know, if drivers had an accident, they could run back to the pits, jump in the spare car, and go straight back out. Uh, Martin Brundle did it when he had this big crash in 1996 in real world. In real life, even. These cars look fantastic from the track side. Look at that car. This is like a proper F1 car, isn't it, really? Right, I'll close someone to the next car. Mm, three temps. Right, this will be my last attempt to go faster. Yep, I've let him go. Definitely go faster through this corner. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, there goes our last qualifying run. Because <laughs> I've just I've just binned the, the spare car. Ah, no. <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll well they'll be able to fix that last one. Uh, they can fix the last one. The, the first car's a complete write-off, but that that second one they can they can fix that. Oh, Damon Hill on pole, hey, hey. Right. Yeah, so Damon on pole, Michael Schumacher second, Johnny Herbert third, John Lacey, Berger, Coulthard, Hackenden, Bouillon, Irvine, Frentzen. Brundle, Barrichello, Blundell, Panis, Salo, Inui, Morbidelli, ourselves, Katayama, Verstappen, Diniz. Oh, this is going to be a clusterfuck into turn one. Oh, oh no. Okay, right, so, yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. Here it is then, Adelaide, the last race of the season. I do love this track, though. Obviously, when we get on to 1996, obviously, um, they uh, moved to Melbourne from 1996. Albert Park. I 
of course. We haven't even uh, we haven't even got a, a drive for next season yet. Haven't sorted out who we're going to be racing for next season. Right, this race is going to be all about keeping this engine cool because I think we're going to we are going to struggle like hell around here. Well, we'll see what happens, you know. Contract negotiations have got to take place. We'll see who we end up representing. See, the car's getting hot, getting warmer and warmer, and this is only the formation lap. We are going to seriously struggle to finish this race, I think. Still, uh, on the brighter side, we've not qualified last. So we, we, you know, we've managed to haul this piece of shit to a better position than it should be for the grid. But uh, yeah, P18. Hopefully we won't be started down in the lowly position such as P18 for much longer. Okay. See, this is what I wish we could do on F1 as well, is just bring the car onto the grid ourselves. Like, why are we not allowed to do that? Like, why do Codemasters not trust us to do that? Oh dear. Oh, I've been punted from behind. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god, did you see that? How did they not go into the wall? Bastard. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he tried to go two abreast through there. That is not a two wide corner, my dear. They're still bumping and scraping in front. Well, at least this year we've made it through lap one. Last year we didn't make it over lap one. <laughs> I don't know what the Minardis are doing right back here with us, though. They've really struggled. Oh my god. Isn't it so much better than Codemasters F1 games, though? <laughs> Getting a run. Oh, he's got a little bit more top end than me. 
Uh... Oh, we're going to send it in there. We're going to send it in there. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Still there. He's still there. He's behind us. We've got him. This is what proper Formula One was back in the day. <laughs> what a move! My engine's very hot. My engine's very hot. This is not good. Oh, they're very slow into the brake in there. Yeah, the engine's not going to last long. That is the problem with coming to Australia in the middle of summer. Why would we come to F to Australia in the middle of their summer? Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'm trying to short shift to save the engine. Oh, that's a big accident. Someone in the wall down the end there. I'm not sure who that is. Who is that? It's Panis. I'm trying to call the engine, but there's just nothing I can do. Oh no, hang on, Palace is Brundle's teammate. Did they crash together? P17. This game, well, this sim feels so much better than the Codemasters games as well.
That's better. That's better through there. I like that. I, I don't think this engine's going to last too long, though. Ah, there it is. The engine's gone. The caution flag is out. There it is. Yeah. Ah. Oh, fuck. Oh. Shame. Back to the, uh, back to the garage. Two engine blowouts in two races. What a shit way to end the season. We were actually doing alright there. We actually had some pretty decent pace in the end. Alright, well, let's fast forward then to the season ending uh, result. Verstappen's out, engine failure as well. Well, oh, Schumacher going to win another one? I mean, he's leading. Well, pit stops at the end. Oh dear. Alacy's had an accident. Alacy is out. Johnny Herbert's had an accident. Oh no, Johnny! Oh dear, the other Simtech is out with an engine failure as well. Oh, our teammate retired as well. Gasho, brake failure. Break failure. Ah, oh, both. Well, that's a full house. Footwork have achieved something I never thought was possible. Footwork have retired both cars from every single race this season. <laughs> There's a lot of people falling out of the race now. I said engines would become a bit of a problem. Both Minardis are still in the race, though. <laughs> Outstanding. Outstanding achievement. Wouldn't it be amazing if Minardi picked up some points in this race? Uh, well, they can't because they're now both out of the race. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Why, why is it every time I mention a team, they, they, they get fucked? Oh, Eddie Irvine's out. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that's a massive achievement. Well, and... There we go. So the last race of the season is complete. David Coulthard takes the win. Damon Hill second. 
Michael Schumacher third, Hakkinen fourth, Bouillon and Frentzen for Sauber get a, Sauber's first double points finish of the season. Fantastic, fantastic, absolutely fantastic stuff. Right, let's see what this means for the driver's standings then. So Coulthard gets 10 points. Damon gets 6 points. Michael gets 4 points. Akinen gets 3 points. Boulian, 2 points. And Fredson, 1 points. Right, I'm not sure what that voice was, but I do apologise. Okay, save. Let's do the teams. Let's do the teamwork, baby. 16 for Williams. 4 for Benetton. 3 for McLaren. And 3 for Salva. Okay, save. Right, okay, here we are then. So, let's go through our championship rundown. Starting with the drivers. So, Michael Schumacher, um, he'd already won the title. Um, takes home yet another podium finish. So, uh, Michael wins the world championship on 109 points. David Hill rescues second place in the driver's standings with 73 points there because Herbert retired. If Herbert had finished in the points, probably wouldn't have got the, the this position. But Damon Hill second on 73. Johnny Herbert third on 69 points. David Coulthard, he's fourth on 48 points. And that was that was David Coulthard's first win of the season. Jean Alesi, uh, he's fifth on 27. Mika Hakkinen, sixth on 21. Ourselves on 21. Gerhard Berger, 14 points for him. Mark Blundell, 12 points. Olivier Palace, 12 points. Let's scroll across. Uh, we've got Frentzen on 9. Bouillon on 9. Sarlo on 5. Brundle on 5. Barrichello on 5. Eddie Irvine on 3. The drivers who have not scored any points this season are... Ukio Katayama, Luca Badoa, Pierluigi Martini, Jos Verstappen, Domenico Schiattarella... Bertrand Gasho, Roberto Marino, Pedro Diniz, Gianni Morbidelli, and Taki Inui. Well, Morbidelli and Inui, they, they, I mean, they, they drive the footwork that never finished a race. So, I don't even think they've even made it to the last lap of a race. I'm pretty sure they've always retired around the halfway mark in every race. Which, I, I, I mean, that deserves a trophy of some kind just for that achievement. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, anyway. So that's the driver standings. And the team standings. Benetton win the Constructors title with 178 points. Williams second on 121. Ferrari 42. McLaren 33. Pacific 21. Sauber 18. Ligier 17, Jordan 8, Tyrrell 5, and of course, Minardi, Simtech 40, and Footwork all on zero. So let's have a look then. So, yeah, uh, let's have a look at the. It's how many. So, 17 races. So, how many podiums did Schumacher have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13. Schumacher was on the podium in 13 out of the 17 races. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them were wins. I mean, Herb Herbert didn't do too badly this season, considering. But, yeah, just not on Schumacher's, not on Schumacher's level. Wow, so that that is it. That is the nineteen ninety five season done. Um, I will sh be streaming tomorrow morning uh, before I go to work. Um, where hopefully we'll start nineteen ninety six. 
where I can unveil who I'm going to race for. Obviously, that's got to be decided yet. So anyway, for me, for now, it is going to be good night and goodbye. And I will see you next time out on a racetrack somewhere soon. Take care. Bye-bye.